How's it going everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at what weapon effect glow is best for you, and how they all look. But before we get into the video, why not subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Now, let's get started. Since the introduction of Rune Glass, having an elemental effect on your weapon has become a lot more viable. Before, you'd most likely choose your weapon gem for its perk. But now, you can keep that perk at a small loss, but also add an elemental effect on your weapon. To not only add damage of that element, but also add a cool elemental glow on your weapon. Since all of these elements have the same damage percentage, you can basically choose the element of your choice based on which one you think looks the coolest. And that's what we'll be looking at today, how each weapon glow looks in different scenarios. So by the end of this video, you can choose your favorite. It is worth noting, certain elements do more damage versus certain mob types. And if in PvP a player has geared to defend against a certain element, it is best to counter it. So keep that in mind. I'll be doing a video like this for every weapon. But since Brimstone Sands only just released, we'll start this series off with the Greatsword. First off, we'll be looking at how the Greatsword looks without any weapon effects active. We will start with a look at the weapon from a cinematic view, then we will see how it looks in action with and without weapon abilities. You will get this effect if you have either no gem on your weapon, or if you have a gem with no elemental effects. This used to be the most common look due to everyone choosing perk gems. It is worth noting that no matter what effect you have on your weapon, when your weapon is sheathed, it will always look as if it has no effect on it. Next up is the Ice Effect, which is achieved from the Aquamarine Gem. In my opinion, this is the least good looking effect, and since many people run Ice Gauntlets, and it's such a powerful weapon, I can see many people having effects on their gear that lowers incoming ice damage. But if you really do love how this effect looks, then go for it. After Ice, we have Fire. One of my favorite elemental effects. It is definitely one of the more flashy effects. Although, much like the Ice Effect, many Fire Staff abilities are fire based. So, people who are weak to mages could be running anti-fire gear. However, fire is also very viable against many mob types in the game, so that's a plus. You can achieve this effect from the ruby gem. From fire, we go to nature. Another really cool and flashy elemental effect, especially for those of you who love green, or might be running around in a green-themed outfit. Because no weapons as of yet are focused around nature damage, I could see this becoming great in PvP, because you wouldn't expect to see many people with anti-nature gear. This effect can be gotten from using the Amber Gem on your weapon. After nature, there's lightning. Achieved from the Topaz Gem, I find the lightning effect to be a bit underwhelming to be honest. Usually one of my favorite effects in other games, I feel like New World could have done a bit better of a job with this one. However, no weapons focus on this damage type currently, so it could be a solid option, especially if you do find it looks good. Next up is Void a really cool pinkish purple weapon effect that I personally love the look of. But again, like the ice and fire, the void gauntlets can be pretty powerful, so I could see people running around in PvP with anti-void gear on. To achieve this weapon effect, you need to slot an amethyst gem in your weapon. And finally, kind of similar in looks to the void, we have arcane. This one is a bit more bluish purple, but it also looks stunning. Unlike the void though, there are currently no weapons that focus around this damage type, so I could see less people in PvP geared up to counter this. This effect comes from the Sapphire Gem. I'll do a quick montage of all the effects now so you can see them one more time to help you make your decision. Remember, New World is about having fun, so pick whichever one you like the most. And, if you want to boost your damage up a bit, maybe pair the effects you choose with your jewelry to get another couple extra percentages. Hopefully this video helped you make your decision. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below, and let me know which weapon effect is your favorite. I will have another video uploaded shortly with a different weapon, so if you want to see how the effects look on your weapon of choice, subscribe to the channel with notifications on. But until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching another video. If you'd like to see how weapon effects look on a different weapon, click on the video to the left. Or if you'd like to see a random New World video, click on the video to the right. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content.